let's explore factorable equations. Let's start by solving this equation right here. So whenever we're solving a polynomial equation where one side is zero, we should always see if there's a greatest common factor. So on the left-hand side, the greatest common factor here is not 1. It's x squared. So we factor that out. And what we're left with is, in parentheses, x squared minus 1. So we've rewritten our equation by factoring out the GCF. And now, to solve this completely, let's, let's continue factoring. So let's factor the left-hand side as much as possible. The binomial x squared minus 1, this is difference of squares. And it factors as x plus 1 times x minus 1. So now we have a product equal to 0. And the 0 product property tells us that <coughs> the product is equal to 0 only when one of the factors is 0. So here the equation becomes, well, either x squared equals 0, or x plus 1 equals 0, or x minus 1 equals 0. So let's solve these three individual equations. Here we get x equals 0, the solution, the only solution. Here x equals minus 1, here x equals 1. So together, since this is or, these are or, the solution set is 0, minus 1, and 1. Solution set to the original. And of course we check, we always check when solving an equation, and all three solutions check. I'll leave that exercise to you. Let's do another example. The instructions here are solve by factoring. So let's look at the left-hand side. Let's compute the greatest common factor. Here, the greatest common factor is 1. So there's nothing interesting to factor out when dealing with the greatest common factor. Let's take a look at this again. Four-term polynomial. Four-term polynomial. So we can try to use the grouping method, factoring by grouping. Let's take a look at our four terms, put them in two groups of two. Let's start by trying the first two terms as one group, and the second two terms as the other group. So now in this first group, the GCF of that binomial is x squared. We're left with, in parentheses, x minus 3. And here the GCF is, well, we could say that the GCF is 1. We could also say that the GCF is minus 1. And when we go with minus 1, what's left, with, what's left in the parentheses is x minus 3, which is preferable because this equals what's in parentheses from the other group. So now, let's see what we get. OK, so we have our left-hand side. And we can view it as, I guess if I put a 1 right here, we can view it as a difference of terms. And we can ask for the GCF of these two terms. The GCF here is x minus 3. So we factor that out. And we get x minus 3, in parentheses, x squared minus 1, all equal to 0. And let's factor completely. The x squared minus 1 is x plus 1, x minus 1. So now we have product equal to 0. We know how to solve 
something of this type. So the solution set to the original is this. we check in the original. And they do check out here. I'll leave that as an exercise.